Thonis Heraklion, the Egyptian and Greek names of the city, is a city lost between legend and reality. Before the foundation of Alexandria in 331 BC, the city knew glorious times as the obligatory port of entry to Egypt for all ships coming from the Greek world. It had also a religious importance because of the Temple of the Moon, which played an important role in rites associated with dynasty continuity. The city was founded probably around the 8th century BC, underwent diverse natural catastrophes, and finally sunk entirely into the depths of the Mediterranean in the 8th century AD. Prior to its discovery in 2000 by the European Institute for Underwater Archaeology, EISM, directed by Franck Gaudio, no trace of Thonis Heraklion had been found. Its name was almost raised from the memory of mankind, only preserved in ancient classic texts and rare inscriptions found on land by archaeologists. The Greek historian Herodotus, 5th century BC, tells us of a great temple that was built where the famous hero Heracles first set foot onto Egypt. He also reports of Helen's visit to Heraklion with her lover Paris before the Trojan War. More than four centuries after Herodotus' visit to Egypt, the geographer Strabo observed that the city of Heraklion, which possessed the temple of Heracles, is located straight to the east of Canopus at the mouth of the Canopic branch of the River Nile. 